G'day guys, it's Jara here. And okay, new background. <laughs> it's gonna keep changing all the time. So yeah, you can guess even where the backgrounds are. Oh my. But you know, today it's Friday, so it's kinda relaxing by myself. But I have to film a lot of videos because I'm going on camp. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So this is for Sunday. So it's Sarcasm Sunday. Hey! <laughs> it's pretty much like, you know, just chill out, alright? Who right now is in their PJs? Alright? I bet you some of you are in your pajamas. I'm one of them. See? I'm like, see? And I got like a blanket as well. <laughs> Who the hell doesn't love blanket, man? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to what I was going to. The week. <laughs> Falling. So yeah, so today I just wanted to talk to you guys. This is kind of directed to guys a bit, but I also wanted to kind of, this is for girls as well. This is all the different types of girls there are. So the first type is, what I believe, it's the super duper posh type. They're very elegant, they're very, you know, your hair must be this direction, uh, you know, kiss my hand as soon as you see me, you know, have to have billions of rings and all, all those things and they're very, you know, shoulders back, chin up, you know, very posh. They sit elegantly with their hands like this, you know, fork and knife, you know, all these things. They're quite posh. And then there's the hardcore rock girls. <laughs> yeah. They don't really give a F about what you say or what you do. Honestly, they're just themselves and they're probably into heavy metal, metal, rock music, probably wearing black, probably got their hair like shaved or in some parts or like they do this a lot. They do that a lot. So yeah, and then there's Ooh, look cool, just chill type. They just don't really care. They just chill and relax, and they're just letting life go. They're surfing through life, which is pretty gnarly, bruh. <laughs> and then you've got the super duper strict type. You know, all home it must be done that night. It must be perfect. It must be written perfectly. It must be done. You know, everything must be perfect. That's sort of perfectionist as well. But yeah, the super duper ones, they like to make sure every single piece of homework is done, even if they can get an assignment a week before, so then they can do it and they head it up when everyone else has just started. So they're kind of a teeny bit of a job off, but they want everything get it done as well. So if they do all homework for the week, the night, one, uh, one night, they got the whole week to do whatever the hell they want. And then you've got the super duper, super duper hyperactive girls. Non stop talking. I mean, I have one as my friend, she does not shut up. Like, I mean, I'll, you know, she's awesome, but geez, that girl does not shut up. She talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks like this. Like, she does this last time. It's like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. These girls are probably super duper, like, hyper and maybe they don't talk as much as they do at home so when they meet you or go to school or wherever they just talk non-stop which is all right and then you got the normal girls which are basically they're kind of a mixture of everything you know or one or two different areas but you know majority of teenage girls are like that so yeah then you've got this these some girls where they're you know, tomboys that's me. <laughs> they don't really care about what other people say. They used to when they were younger, but now they don't anymore. They've just kind of given up on what people think. Then they're like, you know, they're sportive. They rather hang out with guys and girls. You know, they rather be, you know, they'd rather be like a guy. Well, not physically like a guy, but I mean, like, they'd rather get treated like they were a guy than some Chrissy girl. Because honestly, who here wants to get treated like they're 
fragile piece of glass that can't be touched, otherwise it would be shattered? Or would you rather be that? Or would you rather be like someone who they could depend on, they can trust, they can actually feel like that they can, if they need help, they can go to you instead of you breaking down and they don't even get a word in the conversation. So yeah, girls can be quite interesting. Like there is a range of them. Some of us just fight for no goddamn reason. Really? <laughs> Some get jealous really easily. Some get, you know, paranoid and afraid of losing a loved one or just afraid of everything in general. And they feel like they need someone to trust in the world. Well, some of us can just completely shut off our feelings and don't want to even want to talk to anyone because they're so afraid that you, they're going to get hurt again. And some girls are like this. Dudes, give them some space, alright? So I hope this was helpful for guys and even girls in general to understand the girls' mind. Because I can barely understand girls. So let me know in the comments below if I missed out on any like other types of girls and definitions would be helpful because you know it's helpful for all your sarcastic brothers and sisters to know what's going on so yeah and that's all we have for today so jar it out and let's bring it for a hug now if you guys want part two which is definition about boys please also let me know as well bye